That's right. Rub it in. Rub it in all you want. I've heard it all day long. Yes, I thought they were going to win. Yes, they are the better team. But so is sport and so is the game. They managed to lose and it really, 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 really hurts. But on a good note, it is after 4 o'clock. The markets are closed. And guess what? I need a drink. So it's happy hour in the Big Apple. Now, U.S. stocks, they retained modest losses Thursday, this after recovering the bulk of a steep drop as worries eased over trouble at one of Portugal's top banks and its potential impact about the health of Europe's recovery. Now, the market's initial slide came after Espirito Santo Financial Group. Espirito Santo, the biggest stakeholder in Portugal's Banco Espirito Santo, suspended trading in its shares and bonds, citing material difficulties at parent ESI. Also, the U.S. jobs market saw applications for jobless benefits last week dip by 11,000 to a better than expected 304,000. This while wholesale inventories climbed half a percent in May, pointing to a rebound in the second quarter GDP. Now, for every share rising, less than two fell over at the New York Stock Exchange. And let's now take a look to see how the markets performed with only one more day left in the week. And lastly, on the corporate front, shares of Home Depot falling along with other home improvement retailers. And after Lumber, Lumber Liquidators Holdings cut its earnings outlook for the year 2014. So there you have it. Kick back, relax, enjoy the rest of your day. It is beautiful in the Tri-State area. So get out there before the rain starts. And I will see you guys all tomorrow morning. From ModernWallStreet.com, they still have my heart. I got to wait two years for the Euro Cup. I'm James Swinney.